Namaste. This is for all the salespeople from across different industries. In fact, I believe that it's, it's useful for everybody from, from all walks of life. The story goes that uh, there was a salesperson who would come home and every day he would come home with, with a bag full of work. He's married, he's got a small son, five and a half, six years of age. And a typical scene in the evening would be that there is this father uh, whom uh, uh, the child wants to play with, but the father is busy with, with loads of work. So one evening, this little darling comes and says to his father, Dad, can we play? And the salesperson, as usual, is busy. He says, can, we come, can you come after some time? I'm, I'm packed with work. The child goes and again after some time he comes and he says, Dad, can we play now? The salesperson is a bit irritated, a bit upset that why is he being disturbed time and again? So again he tells the child to come after some time. And uh, the child, the perseverant he, which he is, he comes back again after some time and he says, Dad, can we now play? This salesperson is annoyed to his limits. He looks around as to what to do and suddenly his eyes, they, 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 they see a newspaper which has a print of a world map. And a brilliant idea struck him. So he takes that newspaper, uh, which has the map of the world, and he tears that paper into small pieces, and he gives it to the child and says, uh, Son, can you fix the world map for me? And uh, it's, it's kind of a puzzle. You solve the puzzle, and after half an hour, I'm sure we will have time, and I'll finish my work and we'll play. The child says, Okay, and he takes that, those pieces of paper and he goes. And the salesperson is relaxed. He is, he's thinking that now, for the next half an hour, 45 minutes, he is free to do his work. No sooner had he got involved one again in his work, the child comes and says, Dad, there it is, it's ready. And uh, the salesperson goes to see on, the, on one corner of the room, on the floor is the map of the world. He is amazed that how a child could do that. And he says, son, how did you do that? The son says, it was very easy, father, because the map which you gave to me, right behind that map was the image of a man. So I got the image of the man right and I got the world I got the world right. The story says a lot of things to us. I think one of the most important things is as a salesperson, if you're on the field, before you can ever think of getting the prospect convinced, before you can ever think of, of, of sharing something useful with the prospect, the first thing you have to keep in mind is, am I right? Because your world is the prospect. With your world, you cannot have your way if you're not right. So there are three aspects which you have to remember as a salesperson. Am I my physical best? Am I physically right? Am I mentally right? Am I emotionally right? So today let me focus on the physical aspect. I'm not saying you have to have a physically well-built body. If that happens, it's, it's fantastic because a salesperson has to have a lot of stamina. But along with you being physically fit as a salesperson, see you have to understand you are into a very challenging profession. When I say challenging means, you know, since you are into sales, you know how challenging it is. For a salesperson, you have to have loads of stamina. So make sure you're physically fit. Second part of the physical aspect is the way you dress. And I've seen these people, the kind of clothes they wear, the kind of uh, uh, dressing sense they have. Sometimes the, the, the shirts which they wear, it's, it's kind of, you know, the belly is saying, let me lose. The buttons of the shirt are saying, have mercy on us. They're being pulled apart. The shirt is coming from out from behind and the tie is going somewhere and they are perspiring, they have body odor. Please, for God's sake, before you actually open your mouth, before you knock on the door, before you think of going and meeting an, a prospect, please ensure you are physically presentable. This is such an important aspect, a very basic aspect, but yet so very ignored. So all salespeople, get this physical self right from your side and then only your world will be right. And the world of yours is the world of prospects. So invest some time, invest some energy, invest some money onto making yourself look a lot more presentable. See, in the entire uh, levels of sales, the sales process, we are talking about getting the order, closing the order, negotiating, presenting our product, opening the call. In all these orders, the lowest order, the lowest level is we looking presentable. If you can't master this, if you can't handle this, then forget about going up to the higher levels. So, you will never get a second chance to make the first impression. Am I right? So, let this first impression from your side, the way you look physically, the way you look um, through your appearance, let this first impression be the best as a salesperson. And I'm sure you will move on to the second round faster and better. In my next video, I'll speak about the second aspect of the getting the man right, and that's the mental side.
And I'm sure a lot of insights about how you should be mentally before you reach out to your world. Look forward to it. Namaste.